Don't dwell in darkness. Shine the light of Jesus. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and last time I talked to you guys about how we're supposed to go into the world. We're supposed to be in the world, not just like, you know, hiding in church, because I feel like a lot of us Christians, we, we, we hide. We hide from sinners, even though we're all sinners. We hide from people who aren't Christian, and that's not good, because we're supposed to go into the world and make disciples. We're supposed to shine the light of Jesus Christ into the darkness that is our world. Because, man, the world is a, a dark place. And I don't mean dark like like there's no flashlights, there's no lights on, there's no sunshine. I mean it's dark as in there's sin everywhere. People don't know their right hand from their left. They're just stumbling around in sin. They need Jesus to show them the way. And so an important message that many of us Christians need to hear is that we need to go into the world. We need to be in the world, not just hiding at church waiting for heaven. But I think that there's another message that that many of us also need to hear. And that is that we're supposed to be in the world, but not of the world. We're supposed to go into the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ. But I think that sometimes, maybe oftentimes, instead of shining the light of Jesus Christ into the darkness, we just sit down in the dark. We go and we tell the people in darkness, we say, we say, this is sin. And they say, don't tell us that. And we say, oh, sorry. So sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to like hurt your feelings. There was this one time I was out, we were doing like this camping trip and we were doing a night hike and it was really fun. And I had a flashlight. Nobody else actually had a flashlight, which was kind of, I don't know. I I remember to bring my flashlight, but nobody else did. And so I had my flashlight out and I, I shined it like up at my friend's face. And he was like, whoa, Douglas, get that out of my face. And he was like, really mad. And I I felt really bad about it because I did. I shined this really bright flashlight right in his face. And so I just turned it off. But that didn't, that didn't work well at all. Because then we were just in the dark. We didn't know where we were going. So now we've got a rule where it's like, if you've got a flashlight, flash it down at the ground so we can see where we're going, but you're not like, you know, blinding somebody. And I think that there are many of us who, who think that in order for us to be friends with people who are not Christians yet, we need to like, compromise. We need to say that sin isn't sin. And so they might make many, many friends in the world, but they've also made friends with the world. And instead of shining a light into the darkness, they just dwell in darkness with everyone else. And so instead of helping, we just we just join them. We let them affect us instead of us affecting them. And the truth is, I think there is a way to, like, you know, shine our light in a way that is unhelpful. You know, just like in the night hike, it was unhelpful for me to shine my flashlight right in my friend's face. But that didn't mean that I should just turn my light off completely. You know, if I've got my light on the ground, I can show people, you know, where we're going. We can see where we are stepping. And I think that, you know, if we go into the world, the way that we shine our lights too brightly, so to speak, would be like, you know, going into the world, finding somebody who has sin in their life, which is everybody, and immediately just like screaming at them. Be like, you shouldn't be doing this. This is a sin. Don't you know that God hates this? This is evil. You're going to you're gonna burn for this for eternity. Like that stuff is true. But that's not helpful. And it's not that the truth isn't helpful. It's the way that you are sharing that truth is not helpful. So like we should shine our lights in this world. We don't need to like shove it right in their faces, but we also should absolutely not just turn our lights off, right? We don't need to be mean or judgmental, but we also don't need to to call sin good. And we also shouldn't like do things that are wrong just because other people are doing them. And we know that if we do those things, they will like us, right? Like if you hear people using language that you shouldn't be using, if you start using that language around them, they might be like, oh man, Douglas, you're so cool. Ha 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 ha. But that's not good because we're letting the world affect us instead of affecting the world. And like I said before, going out into the world is hard. It's, it's complicated. It's hard to know exactly where to draw the line. Because, man, there are some people that if you, if you guide them, if you encourage them, if you try to help them out of sin, they will really thank you for it. They will be so grateful for you, you know, shining a light on their path. But there are some people 
that even if you don't shine the flashlight right in their face, they're just going to get mad, real mad. And if you do anything short of saying that their sin is good, they'll hate you for it. And they'll say that you hate them. So my, my challenge to you guys today is that you would, you would go into the world. You would be in the world, but not of the world. My challenge is that you would shine the light of Jesus in this dark world. And you don't need to be mean about it, but you do need to be careful that you don't let the world dim your light. You need to be careful that in an effort to make friends in the world, you don't make friends with the world. You don't make friends with sin. It's not good for us to, to hide from non-Christians, right? Like just go to church so that you're, you know, safe. That's not good. But it's also not good for us to become the world. It's not good for us to, to dim our light. It's not good for us to, to call what is evil good just so that we can make friends in the world. God wants us to shine the light of Jesus in this dark world. And in order to do that, we need to be in the world, but not of the world. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. And yeah, I don't know about you, but I find this balance of being in the world, but not of the world, really, really tricky, really hard. And, and I think that's because it is really tricky and really hard. It is not that tricky to just hide at church. That's pretty easy. It's also not that tricky to just, you know, dwell in darkness, to, to make friends with the world and say, you know what, all this sin stuff, it's fine. Whatever you want to do is good. Everyone decides their own truth. Like, that's, that's pretty easy. But neither of them work. They're easy, but they don't work. They're not what God wants from us or for us. So you got to find that balance of, like, protecting yourself while also reaching the lost. And in order to find that balance, it's going to take prayer. It's going to take help, you know, from your friends and families and teachers and pastors, and especially God. If you're walking in the Spirit, this, this balance becomes a lot easier. You need to be in the world, but not of the world.